hands on the hips and roll. And roll, bend your knees to get your shoulders down. And rolling, good. And pause, bend the knees, sweep the arms back. Turn the palms away, wiggle your fingers. Bring the arms up that you can, stretch. And stand in mountain pose, good. Intertwine the hands if you can. Come over to the left, look up to the right. Come back. Good, open the chest, bring the arm right by your ear, curl nice, one more breath, and down. Open legs wide. So if it starts bothering your right shoulder, let that arm just not have to work all the time. Bend your right knee and look over your fingers, left arm onto your thigh, right palm up, arm over the ear if you can, and look up and breathe. Come back, make a fist, come over, look over your left shoulder, arm over the ear, and breathe and breathe, and bring the noodle down. Terrific, and stand tall. Now, bend your knees and bring the noodle forward. Don't move your hips, but move your torso and twist and look over your left shoulder. Everybody go to the left. Thank you. Face forward. Now you're gonna twist the left, bring your heel down. Now you open your hips, take the noodle all the way behind you, look over your back shoulder. But keep that knee facing me. Kathy, don't let the knee move of the right knee. Good. Push forward and back leg up. Toes down. Ooh, and breathe. This is warrior three, and breathe. And breathe. Pull the noodle towards you. Left knee up. Balance. Draw the noodle to your thighs. Pull it back, straight arm it back. Look up, your tailbone's down. Good. Pull the noodle to you. We got Esther Williams under control. Now how about Betty Grable, cheesecake pose. Make some, have some attitude as we shift. And shift, stretch a little more. So this is our version of what's called in yoga, Thara Parvatanasana, revolved abdomen. Open wide again, barbells out, feet parallel. Turn your right heel slightly out, turn your whole ankle knee thigh out to the left, relax your shoulders, and bend your left knee. Good, and breathe. Look over the fingers and breathe. Heels up, arm up. If you're balanced, turn the palm up on the other hand and breathe. And with your toes, go around to the other side of the pool. Try to stay on the balls of the feet and your toes. We're like music box um, performers. If you can bring that arm up, bring it up. If you need the balance, hold onto the side of the pool and breathe. And breathe, get taller and taller and taller, and open your palms and step out. And in your own graceful fashion, sashay your way over to the other side. Now, sit down with your knees bent and straighten your right leg. And now hop on your left, let's all get together. We're coming in. Let's see if we can find someone's foot. And then straighten that left leg, and bend the knee, hop back. It's almost as if you're doing a side stroke. One leg comes on top, and you kick it out and you fall to the left. And then the other leg, and you kick it. So you're scissoring side leg. See if you could get the right leg on top, and then pinwheel your weight on your side. Water in the water, we weigh 10% of what we weigh when we're on land. So feel this, the pressure's off our spine. It's big, particularly for people with neurological problems. You can feel nerves, sensation in the water that you might not feel when you're not in the water. Before we go into Shavasana, we're gonna do one of these crazy walks that I've made up. It's, I call it the Chagall because it reminds me of his paintings with people flying through the sky. And let's seal our practice with each other. Thank you.